In this video, I will give you a quick comparison between Tripit's free plan and their pro plan so that you can determine whether the free plan is enough for you or whether you want to use the pro plan. Now first I'll go over what's included in free and then pro and based on that you can make a decision. So free is just all the basics. For example, organizing your travel plans, creating a comprehensive itinerary, providing access across devices, adding plans from your inbox for you, sync plans with your calendar, store information, share plans with others, show transportation options, find places near your hotel, show neighborhood safety scores, which is a very cool feature in my opinion. It includes airports and terminal maps, lets you rate your in-flight experience, find eligibility for flight compensation, track carbon footprint, tallies and displays travel stats, and you can upload three documents per trip. So that is everything you can do with the free plan, it's quite a lot. But if you want to have access to any of the following features, such as sending real-time flight alerts, monitoring for fair refunds, getting a better seat, finding alternate flights, remind you when to check in, tells you to go now to the airport, sends terminal and gate reminders, navigates you through the airport, guides you to your connecting gate, displays baggage claim info, provides country specific travel info, updates people on your travel plans, speeds you through security, tracks your rewards program and you can upload 25 documents per trip. So if you need, for example, more than three documents and you want up to 25, then the pro plan could be for you. It is $49 per year, which comes out to just over $4 per month if you calculate it per month. So if you are taking a lot of trips, then this could be worth it if you want to have some of these extra features. But basically, if you don't really have trouble with flying and navigating airports, then the free plan is already very good. I recommend to just start on the free plan. And if you are missing some kind of a feature that you really want and that you think is worth $49 per year and that feature is included in the pro plan, then I would upgrade to the pro plan. So just start with the free plan and if you want you can later upgrade. So now you know whether you should use TripIt's free or paid plan. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.